Wake up and start your week with us now on ITV1. It's Good Morning Britain. Good morning, morning. Britain. Can Boris bounce back? <laughs> MPs investigating whether he misled Parliament over number 10 lockdown parties meet today to conclude their inquiry in the wake of the former Prime Minister's dramatic resignation. The levelling up Secretary Michael Gove joins us after eight. Nicola Sturgeon facing calls for suspension after she was arrested and then released without charge as part of an investigation into the party's finances. The vehicle switch can easily do up to 30 miles an hour, but now MPs say e-bikes are dangerous and should have number plates. But why stop there? Should all cyclists and scooters be registered to use the roads? Let us know what you think. We'll debate that this morning. Even when the odds have looked against them, they've united to come over the might of England. And one for the soccer aid history books, as the rest of the world team claim a fifth successive title with a 2-4 win over the three lines at Old Trafford. And they're the kings of Sin City, but this morning, legendary duo Penn and Teller join us live here in the studio. Will they be able to cast us under their spell with a magic trick? Find out after seven. After yesterday's heat, humidity and thunderstorms, more of the same today, but if the heat's too much for you, our temperatures moderate as we head through the week. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Monday, 12th of June, 2023. Live from Television Centre in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Susanna Reid and Richard Maidley. Good morning, morning, Britain. Welcome back, Richard Maynard. Thank you very much indeed. I didn't come in on the bike. I drove this morning. But uh, I tell you what, yep. you kind of know in advance what subjects are going to press the nerve out there. And we've already been inundated with messages from people who do think that cyclists should be licensed. Mm. They should be registered. They should have number plates on the bike. And is that be... motorists who are mainly Course saying? Yes. Or actually, are there cyclists who say that, that bicycles should be licensed well, and registered? I, I can't see any prefaces here saying, I'm a cyclist, and I think that. So yeah. I think it'll be... <laughs>